So here's the new BTI cam gauge. These are a color touch screen. It still has the LED shift light. Same mounting method. This one, as you can see, is slightly offset for a Supra's clock location. Come with this cable here. This end plugs into the gauge. This end here plugs into the AM net connector just as the old gauge. But now we have another connector that's a two pin that comes with this little guy. So this plugs into here and then you got two wires. These wires output a voltage to your infinity that can be used for mode switches. So you can adjust your boost target as well as your traction control slip targets with this new gauge. So let me show you how that looks. So here's the gauge installed. I'll flip through the screens and kind of explain them to you. So here's one of the screens that's showing you water temp as well as the peak that it hit. Uh, IAT with the peak, oil temp, which I don't have. Next screen we got lambda or AFR, actual versus target as well as boost, actual versus target. Uh, it's a boost episode screen, which is pretty cool. What it does is it captures your peak boost and then tells you everything else that happened during that peak boost. So what your lambda target or what your lambda was, what your fuel pressure was, the duty cycle, the water temp, and so on. We got a knock feedback screen per cylinder. So if you have a four cylinder, you have four of them. We got a GPS screen or, or speed screen. Um, the GPS obviously won't work unless you have the AM VDM module, um, but you'll have your vehicle speed there. We got a uh, acceleration shows your G's. Again, you need the VDM module for this to work. Uh, RPM gauge at the top, AFR map, a water temp, fuel pressure, kind of the basic stuff that you kind of want to monitor. Um, Another screen, ethanol content, fuel pressure, map. Uh, the top is a bar graph, which we'll actually explain in a second here. All right, so if we go to settings, this is one of the coolest things. So this is how you change your boost or your allowable track slip. So if you click on the turbo, you have different boost settings once it's set up and wired with Infinity. So setting three for me is 26 pounds and so on and so forth. Setting seven, 40 pounds. Same with the track. You can adjust your slip targets. And then this guy here, the units, you can change to SAE, SI units, uh, Lambda or AFR, shift light, program it per gear. And then the boost steps and track steps, we have how many settings you basically want. So if you don't want to have seven different settings, you know, just low and high boost, you can do that. Same with the track settings. Um, and then the base fuel pressure is um, related to those bar graphs I was telling you about. So what you do is you start your car, let it run, and click calculate, and it'll save the, what the base fuel pressure is. So basically what you set your regulator to. And then when you're on this screen, these bars will go up as your fuel pressure goes up and your boost goes up and they should always match. If they're not matching, it's an easy way to tell that you know, you're dropping pressure or it's not keeping up with your boost level. So that's what that was for. Um, and that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, touch screen is very responsive, it works great. Um, left arrow, forward arrow, you can reset a lot of these peaks that these screens have um, or reset your knock feedback but definitely an awesome gauge nice to be able to adjust your boost without having to wire extra switches that's probably the coolest part and that's that's pretty much it thanks for watching